Hello and welcome to iData Explorer for Revit. Are you having trouble finding data and the Revit search engine has not been the answer? Well, iData Explorer is a data detective. It finds and sorts and allows you to see the varied information that the Revit model has within it. iData Explorer collects, searches, finds, and finishes that search engine for you and makes a complete solution. ID uses a very easy to learn user interface that we'll see in just a few minutes. ID Explorer works with on all flavors of Revit, Revit architecture, Revit structure, and Revit MEP. ID Explorer allows you to search for information in the entire project, even though you may only have one view open. Also, you can search for data in just a singular view. Plus, you can create a selection set and then focus that search on that just one given area. Then ID8 goes, Explorer goes to work. You'll be able to see all the families, AutoCAD links, reference planes, and texts. In fact, ID Explorer can look for more than 10,000 different elements, even though the Revit search engine is limited to about 10,000 elements. ID Explorer works through work sets and linked AutoCAD DWGs. Now let us look at some use cases. Let us first look at hidden DWGs. I have a file here that has an embedded DWG I simply cannot find. With ID8 Explorer, I can, with one more step, I can find it and delete it if that's what I would like. The step I need to take first is just to reveal all hidden items just in case it's been deleted in this view. We go into the Add In tab and the ID8 Explorer panel right here under this icon that says Explore. We, we hit it and the information is for us right here. But before I look at it, let me review the UI for you. Up here at the top, pull down menus in which we can export our information to Excel, which I'll show you in another use case. We can copy the information we have here. We can show elements, which I'll use in this particular case. And there is a help section. Also, I can look at either the entire project view visible in active view and the current selection and here's my results also we'll see some property information down here the view pull down menu here allows me to look at this data in different ways by category by level by space by room by zone and by instance list there is also a search area in here in case I know exactly what I want to look for and it'll search through this information here but under the results category I find what I need which is here under CAD imports links click here and I have found what I've wanted. With a right mouse click, I can use Show Elements and hit OK. You see it has found that embedded DWG that I want to get rid of. And now I can simply right mouse click and delete, and I'll be done. This use case we're going to look at is regarding text. We're going to be able to look for text consistency and also export to Excel. As you can see, I am in Revit Structure, and I'm in a 3D view, but I'll be able to go to the Add-in panel, iData Explorer, and go to the entire project. It only takes this long to look through the entire project, and when we come down here, we see that we have 265 text notes, and I can drill down into the one that has the uh, most of them, which is the 330 seconds aerial. And we can even do a visual representation. So I can even see that I have different kind of 12-inch CMU and how it is noted. So I'm going to be able to, if I want to, select that, right-click, show. There's no view presently open, but it's going to find me a good view. And then I can go in here and I can fix this so it reads with, with consistency. But let's suppose what I really want to do is take a look at it in an Excel spreadsheet. I'll be able to to go back here to the text subcategory, right click, and I'll be able to export to Excel. And when it comes into Excel, as you can see, it gives me this data that I can then arrange as I would like. I can take many, many information and use it in a way and filter and search and be able to do manipulation in ID8 Explorer. This use case is going to deal with reference planes, how I can find specific reference planes, and then be able to add valuable information. Reference planes are often put in by users and not named. This gives me information that is unuseful as we move forward in the modeling process. 
ID Explorer, the Add-ins tab, the ID Explorer panel, select, and I want to look at the entire project. Down here we can find reference planes. And this is the one I would like to choose. We go show elements, hit OK. We can find it right here, reference planes. And now I am able to provide a title for this. With ID Explorer, I can add additional information to make my model more valuable. Now that you have seen what ID Explorer can do, why should you and your firm be interested? First, have you ever tried to find information in Revit but struggled to find all the instances of the families or DWG or text? Two, is your firm moving from Revit as a great modeling program and moving towards a truly integrated database? then ID Explorer can make that data consistent to enable your firm to leverage that data for your benefit. And third, the project is just more than graphics, and you'll need to confirm or verify the quality of that non-graphic information. Now that you have seen what ID Explorer can do and you want to know more information, first, you can download a trial version at IDAExplorer.com. Second, you'll be able to buy the product and download the product online. And third, if you're an IDA customer, please see your account manager about this special product. Thank you for your time.